Hello, everyone. My name is Michelle Zhou. I'm a co-founder and the CEO of GG, an artificial intelligence company specializing in creating and democratizing a new generation of AI assistants. We call them cognitive AI assistants. In this short presentation, I'm going to share with you what they are, how to create them, and what they can do for us. Gigi is founded by my co-founder, Dr. Hua Hai Yang, and myself. We were colleagues at IBM Research and IBM Watson Group. Our expertise is in an area called human-centered AI, which is an interdisciplinary field that intersects artificial intelligence and human-computer interaction. We founded the GEG toward a mission, that is to advance humanity by unifying human and machine intelligence. And in our world, the machine intelligence is also known as artificial intelligence, or AI for short. So what is AI? In our definition, AI refers to machines with human skills or human-like intelligence. For example, with human language skills, machines can comprehend the meaning of natural language expressions and detect the sentiment conveyed by such expressions. For human skills, for example, uh, with the human perceptual skills, and machines can recognize the visual objects and their relationships to navigate a space. Then the next question is, why do we need AI? Or how can AI help us? In general, AI can help us human beings from two aspects. First, AI can really scale out human operations. Just imagine an organization like the World Bank. They often send the human staffs around the world to help people in the developing regions. However, they can only afford to send a limited number of human staffs. But with AI's help, the same number of human staff members can do more and help more people. Because of the scalability, AI can also help make scarce resources much more widely accessible. In today's world, not every one of us can afford, can afford to have our own personal financial analyst or career counselor. But with AI's help, such scarce resources can become much more widely accessible. However, creating AI is non-trivial because teaching machines human skills is very difficult. Human skills are very diverse, and some human skills are very hard to acquire. For example, what we know as the soft skills. So basically, teaching machines to be empathetic, to be responsible, is not an easy task. Moreover, the currently the tooling for building AI is also quite limited. So it often requires AI expertise, programming skills, as well as resources like AI training data to use such tools. So not mention that there is a long development cycle is often required. So to address those challenges and to make AI more accessible to more people, for the past few years, we have been working on the efforts of democratizing AI. By democratizing AI, it really means two things. First, we want to make AI solutions more accessible. So we believe that in the near future, everyone should afford to have their own personal AI assistants, which can then help them in many aspects of their lives. For example, from financial planning to online learning to actually maintain a personal well-being or wellness. And the second, democratizing AI also means that to lower the barriers of developing and customizing AI. For example, anyone or any organization with or without AI expertise or programming skills should be able to customize and manage their own AI assistants 
for their own benefits. And uh, from in our effort, uh, we have been focusing on democratizing AI in the area to democratize the uh, making of a cognitive AI assistant. So let's watch a quick video so you will see what a cognitive AI assistant is like and what it can do. And a video, please. Uji, the world's only platform powering cognitive AI assistants, enabling your brand to engage with your audience in one-on-one, -on -one, deeply personalized conversations at scale. With cognitive intelligence, Juji AI assistants can actively listen to users and responsibly complete assigned tasks. With cognitive intelligence, Juji AI assistants can deeply understand each user, building empathetic rapport and personalizing services. As you can see from the video, uh, a cognitive AI assistant, unlike any other typical AI assistant, it has advanced and human-like intelligence. Because currently we have applied cognitive AI assistants to engage users in conversations, we have also taught those cognitive AI assistants three sets of skills. And next, I'm going to briefly describe what the skills are, what they enable a cognitive AI assistant to, to do. The first set of skills is a language skills. Just like a human in a conversation, with the language skills, a cognitive AI assistant can interpret the semantics of a user natural language expression. As you see from the uh, right hand of the screen, if the computer or the AI asks, what's your favorite subject? And the user's response would be, I don't really have a favorite subject because I enjoyed learning many subjects. So the computer should be able to understand that uh, the meaning of this particular uh, input or particular expression. In addition to understanding the semantics, the meaning of the user natural language expressions, the AI should also recognize the concepts and the relationships among the concepts. As you see from the second example, the machine should recognize that this person actually has two names, one given name and one preferred name, but both names actually are referring to, are referring to the same person. In addition to understanding the meaning and recognizing the objects or the entities in expressions, the language skills also meaning that the computer should be able to detect human sentiment. As you can see from a third example, the machines can detect that the person is quite actually positive about the course uh, under questioning. Just like a person in a conversation, you want the person to pay attention to the focus of the conversation and to be able to memorize the conversation and understanding the context as well. So in order for the computer, in this case, the cognitive AI assistant to deliver a pleasant and effective conversation, we have also taught the AI what we call attention and memory skills. One of the such of skills is enable the computer to understand the focus of attention and interpret users in complete input in context. For example, these two examples showing that the users actually gives the exactly same expression, but the computers gives the different types of responses because of the context. Moreover, just like a human in a conversation, uh, the conversation partners may not always follow the conversation flow. They may interrupt the conversation. Similarly, a cognitive AI assistant should also handle arbitrary user interruptions and maintain the conversation context to ensure task completion. For example, as shown in this example, this AI assistant is supposed to help the user to make a reservation. But during the process of the re making reservation, the users have asked the various questions which interrupts the process of a reservation. In such a situation, 
the AI should actually handle the user questions in context, as well as to help the user to finish the task, in this case, to finish the reservation. Moreover, in a human-to-human -human conversation, we always like to converse or interact with people who are, who are having a high level of social and emotional intelligence. Because such social and emotional, social and emotional intelligence will make the conversation much more pleasant and much more effective. Similarly, we have taught cognitive AI assistants to have such intelligence. In particular, a cognitive AI assistant can read between the lines during a conversation, which means that it dynamically analyzes a user's conversational text and to infer the user's unspoken needs and wants, as well as the person's emotional signature or personality. With such insights, then the AI assistant can personalize each engagement. Here is an example to show that a cognitive AI assistant can generate different types of responses to different users based on their unique characteristics. The one on the left, it shows a user called Emma. Emma is very action-oriented and in, but impatient. In contrast, the Lucas is another user who is very thoughtful, cautious, but indecisive. So based on their request of finding more financial aid programs, so on the left, the conversational AI assistant in this case tries to generate a summary, a quick summary of the various of financial aid programs. So Emma can get a quick review. In contrast, to help Lucas make decisions, the AI assistant actually chooses to generate a program comparison with various details. So in this case, Lucas can make a decision based on such detailed information. So far, I have briefly introduced what a cognitive assistant, AI assistant is and what it can do. However, that's not sufficient. If uh, many people or many organizations cannot create such powerful AI assistants. That's why one of the Juji's efforts in the past few years it is to democratize the making of such cognitive AI assistants. I wanted to show you the quick video so you can see how easy it is to create such a powerful AI assistant without coding and without AI expertise or programming skills. May I have the second video, please? Unlike other chatbot solutions, Juji enables you to rapidly set up, deploy, and manage a very intelligent AI chatbot tailored to your program with no coding and no technical staff required. Let's create a new AI chatbot from scratch. First, we select a template. Just like that, we already have a chatbot that can chat with us. And now we can easily customize the chatbot by modifying the messages in the chat flow. We can also customize and expand the chatbot's question and answering capabilities easily with your knowledge base. Assume the knowledge is stored in an Excel file, we just upload it. We're done. Now we have a custom chatbot that can answer student questions and elicit student information, such as their program interests and email. This chatbot can be easily deployed to any website. Here is how. Yes, just that simple. It gets even better. Juji also enables fast and easy management of a deployed chatbot. For example, suppose a user asked a question for which the chatbot does not have an answer. It shows up here. A staff member can just enter the answer of the question and submit it. Bola. Now the chatbot is improved instantly and can now answer this question for any students. 
Okay, as you can see, uh, show in the video, creating a very powerful cognitive AI assistant is quite simple. Essentially, it is a three-step process. The first step, you want to define a main chat flow. This is basically guides a chatbot, in this case, an AI assistant, to figure out what the main topics it should initiate. If anyone who can do PowerPoints can easily define a such a chat flow. And the second step it is to upload a Q&A spreadsheet. So anybody who can actually use the spreadsheet to Excel to enter data, and it can actually define such a QA pairs. So this is the enables the AI assistant to answer questions from the users or maybe comment on user input. That's it. Then third step is the system will automatically generate an AI assistant, uh, AI assistant with out of the box cognitive intelligence, which means it has the language skills, has attention and memory, as well as the soft skills by understanding people deeply and personalizing each engagement. There is a wide variety of applications for cognitive AI assistance from student services, such as helping students find the right programs to enroll, to advise students about their career interests in career development, to actually helping people maintain their personal well-being or wellness. It really takes a world to democratize AI and to prevent AI divide. Juji literally means getting together, assembling. So let's Juji together to advance humanity by democratizing AI and preventing AI divide. We are building a community on LinkedIn that focuses on democratizing AI effort. So if you are interested in and you want to help us, please scan the QR code and join us. Thank you very much. And thank you for listening.